Importing data in SageMet is easy and takes just a few moments. Upload your CSV file, follow the import wizard and begin importing. Review your CSV file at high level as to how SageMet data is structured and move on with import. Kindly pause for a while and quickly have a look at the list of the important key points to ponder before importing data into SageMate. Let us now see how we can import data in SageMate. For importing data individually from respective modules, you will find the option under Actions drop-down. Here you can import contacts, companies, activities, deals and notes separately using CSV or Excel file. Alternatively, navigate to Profile icon, followed by Setup. Under the Data Administration section, you will find the Import or Migrate option. Here you will be presented with two options, Import using File or Import from other CRM. To import via Excel and CSV files, select Import using File. If you need a reference sample spreadsheet for import, you can download the sample spreadsheet from here. Import feature consists of three different verticals, namely Initiate, Select Fields, Preview and Import. As you are ready with the file in the initiation phase, you can simply drag and drop your sheet or choose a file from your system. Now click on Next. In the Select Fields stage, you will now have to map your sheet columns with SaveSmith's fields under the respective modules for accurate data association. If you notice, SageMate will auto-map the known fields, so you will just have to do the manual mapping for the rest of the column. The mapping against each module can be easily recognized with the icons against each field. In case the field name in your sheet varies from the one present in SageMate, you can map it with the correct field. You can also create a new custom field right from the import screen if you haven't created any fields in prior. Please refer to our video on creating custom fields in the YouTube playlist. If there is no data in the required field, SageMate will skip those fields and proceed with import. The import files column that is mapped to the SageMate owner field must contain a valid email address of the owner. In case the email address is not present or incorrect, the logged in user will be assigned as the owner of all imported records. In case you have common fields created in multiple modules, like source as an example, system will give you a warning if the field is mapped with the module which is not being imported with the current sheet and has to be updated from here. If any date field is present in the mapping, a yellow colored icon will show up for every date field present in the field with the message, please select date and time format for date type field. You will have to toggle on the icon to select date format and time format. You can take a moment to get more insights. You can now click on Next and choose Data Handling under the Preview and Import section. Assign the record owner for the new data being added if it is not mentioned in the sheet being imported. Add tags to keep the data segregated and further segmented as per the usage. In case you want to run automated campaigns, you can add newly created to the list. Then comes the wiser part of SageMate in managing duplicate. You can either merge them, create multiple records or simply skip them. You can then handle blank columns by either always overwriting the map data from the current sheet to the records present in SageMate or only in case a value is present. Once the data handling is done, you will get a quick preview of the columns you have mapped. As soon as you quickly review it and it is good to go, click on I have verified dot the import to start the import process and you will be redirected to the next page where the progress of the current import will be visible in the progress bar. On completion of import process, you will notice a message import has finished successfully. As you scroll down under the previous import section, you can locate the recent import history. If the import status shows finished, it means the process has no error. You can click on details and it will highlight the import summary for the new records created, updated, merged, skipped or rejected. In case you want to undo the steps for the recent import you just did, you can click on revert and confirm the revert operation. You will then notice the import status as revert. You may note revert is possible within 48 hours of import being done only, post which this option won't be available. This is all about the successful data import. 
what if the import status shows any failure? There are two types of failure imports. Case 1, where the import process is finished and it shows a yellow colored exclamation icon. It means the data is imported but with errors. In case 2, it would be red colored exclamation icon if there is an import failure which means the data is not imported at all. In both cases, you can click on details followed by download rejected records to see the reason of the error. Simply give a quick fix to those comments mentioned in the Excel sheet and re-import the data. This is all about importing the data in SaySmith's Europe. Enjoy using SaySmith. Subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases, and insightful videos.